I was working for a, a textile warehouse in, in the city when I left school and I've been there three or four years and um, you have to register of course when you turn 19 and a half I think. So um, it was based on birth dates. If your birth date came out of the barrel you were in sort of thing and uh, uh, mine did. And I got a letter uh, saying that um, and I had to report to um, recruiting house in, in the city for an initial medical. Um, my thoughts at the time was I, was I was quite pleased. I was looking to do something interesting in my life. Uh, I was always interested in the Navy and I used to go to Garden Island, look at all the ships on you, all the ships numbers by name and everything, but in those days you had to sign for nine years. I don't think I was ever really serious about joining the Navy, but um, and my father had served in the First World War, and I was interested in doing something on the military side, I guess. So when I was called up for two years, I thought, great. And um, uh, I passed the medical, and um, we were sent away for uh, recruit training down at Puckapunyal in Victoria. Uh, so what was Puckapunyal like? Was it a culture uh, shock? It was tough. It was really tough. Um, I'd never been screened up before <laughs> by anyone. And literally, I mean, screamed at. And, um, and we were, of course, very fit, woken up at five in the morning to stand on the parade ground in the middle of winter in central Victoria, freezing cold. But that's all about discipline. Well, there was, there was a hut inspection, and um, you had to uh, fold all your clothes up, um, I think 12 inches um, in your locker, and had to be stacked neatly. And we were told before that we had to be ready five minutes before the inspection and of course I wasn't any other corporal came into our hut and I, my my things weren't ready at all and uh, he just stood in front of me uh, a foot from my face and just screamed and screamed and screamed at me it was quite terrifying actually <laughs> see the funny side of it later and then he uh, and then he put his um, hand in a locker threw every bit of clothing on the floor <coughs> and said, do it again, and um, I'll be back in 10 minutes. But that was just part of it. Yes, what was the most important thing that made you decide which way you'd vote? Uh, the Vietnam War. And how did you feel about that? I felt very, very strongly against it. You know, Australia basically was at war, and. Uh, I felt, I suppose, uh, patriotic and I felt blokes 19 or 20 years old and, and for my way of thinking, it would be an adventure. And my father had served with the 39th Battalion at Kokoda, so if I get called up, I'd be happy to be called up. If I wasn't called up, I more than likely would have joined up. I can remember going to see my grandmother before we went to Vietnam and she said, oh, what on earth are we doing going there for? And it was the first time I'd had to query in my own mind the, the moral issue here. 